Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and I'm back with another WordPress tutorial. Today, we've got a tutorial on LearnPress, and this is going to let you set up your own online course, and you'll be able to sell this online course using your WordPress website. So in this tutorial, you'll be able to take a basic website and turn it into a place where you can sell a course where users can come, they can click join and they can see your course overview, they can see your curriculum and then they can sign up and buy the course using PayPal. So if that sounds good, keep watching. For this LearnPress tutorial, you can use basically any theme you like on your WordPress website. Uh, personally, I'm using Astra and I'm using a starter site. I'm using a starter site called Coach. You can totally grab those for free. I've got a link in the description that shows you how to set up an Astra starter site. That's super easy. But our first step for this one, we go to plugins, we go to plugins and add new. We type in LearnPress here and go ahead and search. And that should be the first one that pops up. Let's go ahead and click install now. And when that's ready, we click activate. There we go. Okay, so as soon as LearnPress is activated, you'll get the setup wizard running. Um, if you don't see the screen, you might get the setup wizard from your dashboard with the setup wizard button there, but otherwise you'll get here. And then we go ahead, run the setup wizard. Either way is fine. Here we can set up our currency. By default, it's in US dollars, but you can put whichever currency you like. Um, choose your number of decimal places. I'm gonna leave this all as default and just continue. Now it sets up the LearnPress static pages. So these are the default pages that LearnPress uses for the courses, profile, checkout, and teacher. So um, you can name the pages yourself or you can just automatically have LearnPress do that by clicking on this link here. So I'm gonna do that. Just wait a moment. Now we can click continue. So the free version allows you to sell your courses using PayPal, which is pretty cool for a free version. Um, go ahead and enable PayPal, put your PayPal email in there. Um, sandbox mode is just for testing. So when your site goes live, you can disable sandbox mode. I'll show you how to do that later. And the sandbox email can be the same, that's fine. Go ahead and continue. Emails, we can go ahead and enable emails just to see how they work. You can disable them later if you like, but um, up to you. And here we are at the finish. We can go ahead and create a new course. So go ahead and click that one. So here we are at the create new course screen. So um, straight away, we can close this option about joining the newsletter. There's no need for that. And it is required to have the profile page and checkout page set up. So you can just go ahead and click here to set them up automatically. And finally, it's asking us to use the permalink option called postname. So I'd recommend using postname on um, most of your WordPress sites. I think postname is the best uh, permalink format. If you're not already using it, uh, go ahead and change it to postname. If you've already got an established WordPress site that uses a different permalink setting, um, maybe set up LearnPress in a different folder or on a different subdomain. But anyway, go ahead, change it to post name and click save, save changes. Okay, back on our add new course page and it looks like we're good to go. I'm just going to call this one, I'll call it WordPress course. And I'll just put some filler content in there. Maybe, maybe go ahead and uh, add a little image here from the media library. Let's just try this guy maybe, pop them in there. Okay, that should get us started. Let's hit publish. So now it says... Uh, course is published we can view our course so this is what it looks like so far we've got our description our picture our title it's got some breadcrumbs and the number of students there I'm going to show you how to remove those a little bit later on and it's also got our comments down here I'm going to show you how to turn those off and enrollments free at the moment I'm going to show you how you can charge a few dollars to enroll in the course so uh, keep watching Okay, so back to our edit course page. The first thing we can do is untick the allow comments thing and go ahead and click update. So that looks all good. The, the comments are gone. We've just got our normal header, footer and our course template here. And these tabs show the overview that we just put into our course editor. The curriculum is where the actual lessons will show up and the instructor shows the user who created the course. In this case, um, Ideaspot, but whichever account you're using that will show up as the instructor. So let's keep working on our course. Under courses, we've got our WordPress course and we're gonna keep editing this course. Okay, back on our course editor, let's just scroll down to curriculum and we can add a section for our course here. So I'm just gonna call it section one and press enter. And that will add section one to our course. So in section one, we can add a new lesson or we can add a quiz with that little clock icon. So I'm gonna add a lesson. 
and I'm going to call that lesson one. And hit enter, and that will add lesson one. And the other settings down here are, you can pretty much leave them as default. I've set the duration of the course to 52 weeks, but you can use whatever you like there. Um, all of that stuff is fine. And so we've got lesson one, and let's make a quiz as well. Let's make a uh, quiz one as well, and hit enter. So now this is all done, I'm gonna go ahead and click update. It's always best to click update after making any changes, just to make sure the database is all linked up properly. Let's go ahead and have a look at the course again. So here's our course, we can go ahead and click curriculum, and there we go, we can see our lesson one and our quiz one have been added to the curriculum. So back in our dashboard, let's go to lessons, and let's start adding some content to lesson one. So there's lesson one, let's go ahead and, head and click edit. So I'm just gonna paste some filler content in there and the rest and duration can be limited, but if you choose zero, uh, that will disable, you have unlimited time on the lesson. Uh, you can allow people to preview the lesson without um, taking the course. I'd leave that unchecked if you're trying to sell the course and want to leave it um, uh, hidden so people have to pay before they can see it. And also, also there's comments here. So let's go ahead and um, untick the comments. And besides that, that looks all good. So let's go ahead and click update. So now we can view our course. Let's go ahead and click the permalink, open it up in a new tab here. And here we are, it looks quite nice. You've got our content, um, you can go to the next section or next quiz. Uh, you've got your title there and you've got your sections and quizzes there in the left sidebar. So I really quite like that layout. It's nice and clean, easy to use. I think what we'll go ahead and do now is add the quiz. So let's go back to our dashboard and go to LearnPress and let's go to quizzes. So here's quiz one that we started earlier. So let's go ahead and click edit. So up top here, we can put a little background information for the quiz or information that you'd like the students to have while they take the quiz. So you can do anything that you do in a normal blog post, um, text, images, videos, whatever. Um, you can create a question. So let's go ahead and make a new question. Let's call it, uh, is WordPress great? And add as new. So that's question one. So by default, you can have a true or false question. Um, but we can actually change it to true or false, multiple choice or single choice. I'm gonna choose, say, a single choice. So single choice, you can set up several answers and have one correct answer. So single choice is where there's only one correct answer. Multiple choice is where there might be multiple correct answers. So in this case, I'm just gonna have single choice. I'm gonna add an option. We could say, I don't know. So this option just could be uh, maybe. And there's a few extra things you can add here. We can add some like question content. Uh, we could add a bit of an explanation for the question and maybe even we could add a hint if the um, person needs a hint for the question. Those are all up to you. But that's basically all you need to do um, to make a quiz. So then you'll be here where you can make a new question, question number two. I'm gonna skip that um, just for the sake of the demo because you just repeat the same process. And here we go. There's a few options. You can use pagination to show the list of questions. You can allow them to review the questions after they're finished so that they can go back, maybe change their answer if they're feeling like they wanna change something later. Um, show correct answers after reviewing. Um, you could leave that on or off. You could give them a set amount of time to do the quiz. I'm gonna have unlimited time. You set that to zero and that gives them unlimited time. Um, you could give them minus points if they get something wrong. Um, you can set the passing grade. I'm gonna set that grade to 100, but you can set that to whatever you'd like. And you can allow people to retake the quiz as many times as they like. So I might let them do it 10 times. You could set that as many times as you want or set it to zero if you want to not allow them to retake the test. And this will allow you to check the answer if you set that to one, but I'm just gonna set it to zero so you can't check the answer and show hint. I might set that to, um, you can show set it to one for unlimited hints or zero for disabled hints, or you can maybe limit them to say five hints per quiz, up to you. I'm gonna just set that to unlimited. So that looks all good. I'm gonna go hit update. So let's look at our quiz. I'm gonna open that quiz in a new tab. And here we go. It says we can do it 10 times. The duration is unlimited. Um, passing grade is 100% and there's one question. And here's a bit of the background info for the test. So at the moment, our lesson and our quiz are both locked off. So we're gonna need to enroll in the course before we can see the content and try the quiz. So let's have a go at doing that. Let's go back to our course page. You can use that link there. Or we can just uh, go back to the course page through the dashboard either way and scroll down here, click enroll. It's got free enrollment. 
And here we are, we're enrolled in the course. We can go ahead and click continue. Lesson one's just a matter of reading the text and clicking complete. Do you want to complete? And you say, okay. It'll say, congratulations, you've completed lesson one, and now you're on to quiz one. And there we go. We can uh, read a little bit before we start the quiz and click start. So here we are in our quiz. Is WordPress great? There's a little bit of that background info we put in, and we can choose true. We can choose the hint. Clicking hint will show the hint and the explanation that we put in when we set up the question. Um, and then once you're ready, you go ahead and click complete. Do you want to complete, complete quiz one? And there we go. And hooray, we got 100% on quiz one. And it'll show the time we spent and how many right and wrong questions. And we can redo it here. It says we've got plus 10 shots to redo the test if we didn't pass. So there we go. Let's go ahead and click finish. Do you want to finish the course? Okay. And there we go, we've finished our WordPress course. So back here, we can still access our lesson and our quiz so we can go back to the content if we need, but we can track our progress with this um, course progress tracker. And that was all really, really simple. So that covers making a free course. Let's say we wanted to charge a few dollars and make some money from this course. So let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to courses and let's go to edit the course. All we have to do now is just scroll down and click pricing here in the course settings and let's make the price $39. And there we go. Um, you can set a sale price as well and set up a sale if you wanted to make it $20 um, for the sale and make a sale schedule. I'm just going to leave that for now, but um, you can use that option if you like. Go ahead, click update. Okay, so now if someone came to your course, they would see, oh, okay, here's the course page and it's $39 and you can click buy this course and that takes you to a registration screen. So let's click buy. So this is the checkout. Returning customers can log in and new customers can register. So let's click register and there they can set up their username, email, password, and then register. So I just went ahead and filled that out and click register. So here we are at our checkout. Here's our price, $39. It's going to say no payment method is available because we still have to select PayPal as our payment method. So I'll just do that right now. So here we are in our dashboard under Learn Press Settings and we go to Payments and scroll down to the bottom, Payment Order, and PayPal is here. And we're going to have to click that little grey tick button. That'll change to blue and then we click Save. So that one should be blue now. And let's also go to PayPal here and just click that. And just make sure your PayPal email is in there. I'm going to choose sandbox mode for testing. Put the PayPal sandbox email in there as well. Click save. And now when we look, look at our checkout, we're going to have our PayPal option there. We can go ahead and place our order. And that'll process. And that'll take you to PayPal where you can log in and complete the payment. So once you're happy that your course is ready to sell live, you can go back into here in um, your Learn Press settings under Payments and PayPal, and you can untick the sandbox mode and then you're live on PayPal and you can start selling all your courses. One thing I should mention with LearnPress is that it uses the WordPress user registration to let people register for courses. So you will need to be able to enable that in your general settings. So go to Gen settings and general here and you'll have to enable registration for your site. So make sure membership, anyone can register. So that might not be ticked on your WordPress website. Just make sure that's ticked. Otherwise, no one's going to be able to register for your courses. If it's not ticked, just tick it and go ahead and click Save Changes. The only other thing I was going to cover was how to change up this actual course page and get rid of these breadcrumbs, get rid of the student count, and maybe you can get rid of the Instructor tab if you'd like to remove that one as well. So basically, we're going to do that in CSS. We'll go to Customize, open that Customizer in a new tab. This is just your Theme Customizer. In your Theme Customizer, you'll want to add additional CSS. That's usually down the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and paste in this CSS that I've made. So there we go. We've got um, Learn Press Breadcrumb Display None, Course Students Display None, and Course Nav Tab Instructor. So the breadcrumbs are gone, the student count's gone, and the Instructor tab is gone. So I'll put this CSS code in the uh, video description below, the YouTube description below. Um, you can just copy that and paste it into your own theme customizer, and you're free to do that yourself. After that's done, make sure you hit Publish. And now when we re reload our page, that all looks good. So... I'm pretty happy with that. So if this has been helpful so far, remember to click like and click subscribe because I keep uh, making these new WordPress tutorials every week. But I'm going to show you how to wrap this up. So let's go back to our main page. Let's link the course into sort of our main homepage. So I'm going to edit this in Elementor. 
You can use any page builder you like. If it's Gutenberg or Divi, it doesn't really matter. I'm using Elementor for this demonstration. I'm just going to link one of these buttons to our course. So um, let's wait for this to load up. So I'm just going to change the header on this starter site. So it says, uh, uh, join our WordPress course. And instead of start now, we can go ahead and uh, may maybe call it enroll or maybe join. Join now. And the link, we're going to link that to our WordPress course. So grab that link from your WordPress course and then paste it in there. Hit update. So now we've got a link where users can join our course right from our homepage. So let's just go to our homepage and let's reload that. And when they click join now, they'll be taken straight to your course where they can join, enroll, pay through PayPal. Um, everything we set up earlier can be accessed. So that basically wraps it up. Uh, remember to click like if this video was helpful. I really liked using LearnPress. I thought, uh, I think for a free plugin, this gives you almost all the features that you would get from um, some of the premium ones. And this was quite easy to use. It did take a little bit of setup time and a little bit of CSS to get the um, course page looking how I wanted it to look. But um, other than that, I have nothing but positive feedback for these guys. I'll also mention that LearnPress is made by these guys at ThinPress. Uh, I was using the free version today, but you can get these bundles which add even more features. So um, I think the obvious one that people might like is WooCommerce. This uh, free one, you could only use PayPal, but WooCommerce, you can set that up exactly how you want with your payment system. And you can have things like content drip. So uh, different parts of the course can be released, say as your semester or your course year evolves. New lessons will come out according to your own schedule. Um, you can have co-instructors. And these are actually lifetime prices as well. So you get up updates for life, which is great. A lot of these new plugins, you have to pay for them every single year. I think that was the case with um, LearnDash, which I covered before, but uh, this is a one-off. And the really nice thing you get with this, um, with this fee is that you get access to, um, I think with the theme bundle, you get one theme and with the pro bundle, you get unlimited themes. So LearnPress have gone ahead and designed course websites pre-built. So these look gorgeous. Um, I mean, today we were just using a basic Astra starter site, but if you want something that's really perfect for a course or an education or a school website, um, that's not a lot of money to spend if you're doing such a big project. That's tremendous value. I'll drop a link in the description so um, you can go ahead and grab one of those. Uh, but yeah, if this has been helpful, uh, definitely click subscribe, click like. Uh, I'll come back um, with more WordPress tutorials. Let me know if you have any questions or how you've, um, how your experience has gone with these plugins, because I'd love to um, know and offer any help if I can. So uh, thanks and I'll see you next time.